Hey guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the analysis of O rank beam and we will check that what are the bending moment and shear force occur due to the O rank beam and what is a suitable area where you should provide a O rank beam. Okay, so just select on this point, click on OK, provide the total uh, support like I want three supports. Okay, uh, or you can just select uh, just two supports the y direction only uh, one the the distance the beam distance i want to provide as a 3 meter okay in y directions just click one one because o rank beam is not uh, that they don't have the very long space okay the span is very less right so click over here and the display grid data and a to b just click on 3 that's it click on okay and okay because remember one thing the orang beam is need to be very uh, not to be very long it should be very short now go to the base story to properly assign the beam go to the properties material assign the add new property m25 grade of concrete and frame section add the beam of uh, size of 0.3 by 0.3 300 by 300 material use m25 and 300 by 300 okay click on okay now after that select over here and assign this property okay so you can see the beam is assigned properly here right so these we provide a steel beam so now delete this okay just select the beam first i forgot to select the beam now select okay come here and assign now you can see the beam assigned properly after that go over here select this particular support only and assign joint restraint and provide only fixed support click on apply ok and this support now need to be removed as a overhang beam so how we can do this just select this particular uh, uh, click on accept select this support select uh, assign joint restraint and click over here so it will remove all the rotations and all the transition and apply so you can see the this particular node is also removed now just assign the loading condition because always remember one thing that on this particular overhang beam only the dead load is relatively applied okay so i'm assigning only the dead load of a slab i'm considering as the 12 kilonewton let's apply it okay apply okay okay but here you can see we made a mistake that just select this beam go to the assign frame load distributed it should be in the global y direction and it's minus y apply and okay now you can see the load is apply and let's analyze it and let's check what are the factor that getting from this analysis and how we can assign how we can manage this kind of beam in our construction activity you can see the you can see the diagram okay this beam is somewhat diverted at the bottom so let me show you the shear force and bending moment diagram right click let's see the moment first okay apply and okay so you can see the bending moment arise like this okay the bending moment arise like this and it is in a way it show it tells us like that in if this kind of particular uh, loading condition will ha happen okay so you must apply this kind of beam at the portion where the minimum loading condition are executed okay if the minimum loading condition is there only then and then for a static view provide this kind of support or this kind of beam now the one of the important thing is that that if you have like your uh, total overall story is having the uh, chajja or the extended area of the slab only that portion you can extend this kind of beam now let's check the shear forces you can see the shear forces like that okay so this is what the scenario what we can see so it means what you can extend you can provide the data till this point so it can carry the load okay and the shear forces will arise at the fixed support okay it the no any no any support no recondition will happen at this point at the edge point okay so you can use the, use this kind of support conditions okay or use this kind of the beam conditions in the uh, slab extended condition or any architecture appearance okay have a nice day bye bye